got a couple new faces that we want to introduce you to. Uh, give it up for Owen Mackin. Come on, guys. Another new face to the franchise, Mr. William Webby. Give it up. A couple of very important people to this franchise. Uh, she's returning as, of course, Claire Redfield. Give it up. Once again, a very important chair on the end. We couldn't do this franchise without her. Give it up for Mila Jovovich! in the air for this cast and this franchise, guys. Congratulations. We're all very much looking forward to this one. Uh, do you look forward to these kind of events, Mila? For something like this? I mean, I would think this is, doesn't get old to meet the fans like this. No, it doesn't. Are you kidding? But I'm happy to be in New York for Comic-Con. You know, I don't have to be that often. We do the San Diego one, so I think this is awesome to see like, all you guys here in New York City. Yeah. I love you! Is there any part for, for the returnees, including you, Paul, and Ali, and Mila, is any part of you surprised that the fans have not only stuck with you guys, but grown over the years and just are, have an insatiable appetite for this franchise? That's always the hope when you start something like this, but it doesn't always happen. Give me a sense of sort of the gratitude you feel, the excitement you feel about this franchise continuing. I mean, in, in, incredible gratitude. I mean, in my dreams 15 years ago when we shot this movie, first movie in Berlin, I could only dream about being in New York now, promoting the sixth movie of the franchise. You know, six movies with the same people behind the camera and in front of the camera. I mean, it's been an incredible, incredible ride. And it's been, it's been a fan-based fan ride as well. I mean, we wouldn't have been here without the fans. Um, and, uh, you know, the fan base has continued to grow for each movie. I mean, you know, that, that's, you know we make the movies for you guys. Um, you know, that for me has always been the acid test of whether the movies work or not. It's when you see it with a general audience and do people scream and applaud. Um, Alec, for you, is this, where, where does this character, this franchise sit in your career in terms of... It's, you know, it's a different I, kind of thing. I'm also, I just am so excited to be here. And it's so rare that anything gets, you know, this kind of success on the first one and then the second one. And I think it's a true testament to Mila and to Paul that, you know, when Mila, you know, started doing Alice and the way Paul envisioned it, they stay to the core principles of what Resident Evil is, which is the kick-ass and the fun and the zombies, but then they also find a way to reinvent it each time that is exciting for the fans. And, you know, when I first got to do, play Claire Redfield, it was just an incredible being opened up into this whole new world. And the loyalty of the fans, and the, you know, ferocious commitment um, has been really inspiring to me and something I loved being a part of. So we, we have a sense from seeing that exclusive trailer of the storyline of this one. Like, give us a sense, where does this one pick up? Uh, where do we find Alice? What kind of adventure are we gonna go on in this final chapter? Well, it's a, it's a return to the very beginning of the franchise. It's a return to Raccoon City, or what's left of it after we dropped a bomb on it in the second movie. Um, it's a return to the hive where everything began for Alice. And um, it's also a, a voyage of discovery for the Alice character, because obviously, you know, Mila had memory loss in the first movie. Her character doesn't really know who she is. And uh, this is the movie where we discover the truth about her and the truth about the Umbrella Corporation. How literally should we take the, t should we take the title, the final chapter? Is this a metaphor or are we talking, is this it, guys? The final chapter, part two. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Jesus. And we're gonna I shoot it in Cuba. I wasn't kidding, but I mean, it is. We're, we're, we're definitely taking it full circle. Like full circle. Yeah, this is, this is the conclusion. Um, you know, we're, we're bringing it full circle. 
it's coming back to where it all began and and all of the questions that have been hanging over the franchise um, you know what is Alice's story what's the real agenda of the umbrella corporation uh, those are all going to be answered in this movie and and it, it's also a very emotional movie you know bringing Alice's story to a conclusion um, even as a, a British person and we're encouraged not to show any emotion in Britain you know stiff up a lip even even I kind of tear up at the end of the movie I mean, it's, I think this movie is going to be have a level of um, emotional engagement that I think most people wouldn't necessarily assume would come with a Resident Evil film and that's something that I'm very very happy